take a look at the minutes real quick. Get them out of the way. Did we come out of executive session with anything, <coughs> no, different than what it was the last time, right? I'm just waiting on that meeting. Okay. Not that I'm aware of. We didn't take any action. I would move to approve the minutes of the December 3rd meeting. Second. Is there any further discussion? Not all those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, first order of business here, I guess we have a letter of resignation from Brett Kingan. He's would like to resign for as the director of the Lincoln County EMS effective 30 days. The letter's dated November 28th. He does state that he would like to continue on as a part-time paramedic and work a few shifts each month. So we'll need to start looking for a director. And if we don't promote someone from within, we'll have to make another hire, which I don't think we we'll probably have the budget to do. So. What is that date in November? I would say instead of some staying in bed first, but the letter's dated the 28th, but I haven't talked to him. And then we also have some correspondence from Flint Hills Area Agency on Aging, stating that Glenn Stegman has come to the end of his second term. According to the letter, he is eligible for another term and would like to be reappointed. That's, a, that's not elected? No, no, not. Silver Hair Legislature is elected. Oh. Oh, this is Board of Directors, I see. Yeah. Two from each county. Who's the second one? You are? Cindy. So who is now the Silver Hair Legislator? Is he still? Or? As far as I know, we haven't got a resignation from him on the Silver Red Legislature. But this term would be coming to him. Yeah. This year, at the end of this year? I'm not sure. That's when they hold an election at the actual senior center, correct? We would like to have it at both seniors. Know that we accept Mr. Kingan's resignation and that we pu publish an opening available and that it specifically be sent to those on the roster in case anybody would like to step in as a part time. Don, do we need to do, do it 
outside? Uh, do we need to uh, put it in the paper, or can we do an internal, just an internal? Could we separate the motions first? I, I thought I'm, you did. I'm sorry? I thought you did. Well, I second. I seconded too early. He was not done, but I'm sorry. May we go back? I'll go back. I'll yeah. accept the resignation, and I'll And I'll second that as a motion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Don, do we have to publish, or can we inform those within the department of the opening? You should publish. Okay. I would move that we publish uh, I think you're gonna vacancy. I will second. In the discussion, I think you need needs to be some discussion on what you're planning on doing. Okay. Because if you advertise on the outside, you're gonna have to hire another person. And there is no budget to hire another full time person. So if you I mean you can advertise it as a part time position or you know, if you're going to promote someone from within, you can make it a full-time position, I guess, as part of their, if they're already full-time employed. But I would like there to is no room in the budget <coughs> to hire another full-time employee. Did that position with part-time didn't come with any health, and health plan? No, and they chose to hire You could hire a part-time well, external know. person who wouldn't qualify for benefits. But. I would. I guess my motion would be that we advertise for a part-time. I don't okay. know that we that we we don't have the ability right now to, to hire a full-time. If we advertise for a part-time, see what happens. If it doesn't, then we're going to have to make some other decisions. I was talking to some other counties at the conference in Kansas City. Um, you know, they have different setups, of course, and they, the particular groups that I was speaking with were all counties under 5,000 population. So a lot of them have consolidated things like emergency management and EMS or someone that does dispatch and works in the sheriff's office and also coordinates shifts and does some of the paperwork for the EMS department. So I think we could have some conversations um, especially if there is someone in the department that would like to do some of the scheduling and things like that that Brett has been doing. But I think there's time to figure out maybe a different method. I know it was mentioned before that when you guys switched over to 24-hour shifts, um, there wasn't a lot of exploration there and not a lot of calculation as to how that was going to have a cost effect on the budget there for that particular department. I mean, we have a really high budget for a low population in this county for EMS. It wasn't uh, the 24-hour shifts that did that. It was the full-time employees that, that caused the problems with the budget. Whether they worked a 12-hour shift or 24-hour shift, it didn't matter. When you hired three additional full-time employees with benefits, that's what caused the problem with the budget. But their budget doesn't include their health insurance plan. Our health insurance plan is itemized separately as its own line item in our budget for all the employees. Okay. So I'm just talking about even within I the EMS. I used to cover 12 to 15 nights a month on the ambulance at a buck 50 an hour. So when they had to replace me with full-time employees, they make a little bit more than a buck fifty an hour. Right, but we're also guaranteeing every employee eight hours of overtime every week. So each employee is getting paid for their full time forty hours, and then they do an, an additional eight hours of overtime every single week. So that's also a scheduling. That's a that's a, a scheduling choice for us to do it that way. Because they take two 24-hour shifts, which equals 48 hours, and anything over 40, you get the overtime for the eight. I think you're going to find most all ambulance service run 12 or 24-hour shifts anymore. So.
same as fires. I mean, that's just the, the way it's set up. Most of those paramedics work multiple places, and that's just standard. I don't care, Mitchell County, Ellsworth County, Sleem County, Russell County, they're all that way. Well, none of those are our population size, though. We can't really compare apples to oranges with that. I mean, well, maybe you should take the class and you could work for a buck fifty an hour, ten or twelve nights a month, and that would alleviate the budget problem. Or we could all consider exploring options. So the motion of the second was to advertise for a part-time EMS director. There's no further discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Nay. Uh, tax abatement. On a Sea Dew Sportster 240 horsepower boat, Ali Mangagula, I believe is how you say it, be a net change of $13.56. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Can we go back just a second for the future ones? Sure. And I know that you added part-time in the motion. Mm -hmm. But if you have a part-time ambulance director and one of the full-time employees, this question is going to come up. One of the full-time employees like currently position. apply for it. Hmm? Right. Do they get moved to part-time? Because they're going to ask. Very good catch there. Well, if you advertise for a full-time and you don't hire from within, then what are you going to do? I know. I know. It, what if we just advertise for an ambulance director? That's fine with me. I don't care. Yeah, I think they're going to want to. We can't hire them. They want to know whether it's full-time or part-time. I, I know. Yeah. The outside. I guess you could say part-time could be full-time. Well, you also have to think of it this way. Right now, you have one part-time person coming in for a 24-hour shift in a week, and they're considered the director. Putting together the schedule, they're supposed to be responsible according to their job description for billing, which that has not been done in that position. Um, and there are some other things there they're responsible for overseeing maintenance, etc. cetera. Um, and that's supposed to all be done in one 24-hour shift by a part-time department head. If you change that to a full time where they're there five days a week for eight hours a day, they can also be the second person who goes out during that eight hours of that particular shift. Then you only have to schedule someone for an eight hour day, five days a week, with your full time department head as if they're running together. So there are ways to reschedule that. I guess my question, Don, would be that. We have a full-time person that comes in for that. Uh, certainly, I would assume that they would want to work the other part-time for the remainder. And once they work over that uh, number of hours, we have to provide benefits for them. Yes, if they're over 20 hours, you have to provide part-time benefits, which adds a higher premium for them. No, but I'm at a full-time if they come in and want to remain full-time but take part of their shift as director or part of their time as director, they're still going to be full-time, right? You, uh, you'd have to no, they're basically time. having two jobs. You're basically asking them to be a Same department it, head. It, wouldn't, it doesn't matter if they have two jobs, that they're both employed by the county. Correct? Cor correct, because but then you're not advertising correctly because then you're advertising for a full-time How about this? How about we just get the ad in the paper that we're advertising for a position and we put on time to discuss it further next week and I'll block off a half an hour to discuss it. That's fine. I know I'll have TD come down and, and we'll visit. I just, I'm afraid if you, 
it's just a question that's going to come up right now. And we just want to cover our bases with the advertising position. It was my understanding that the whole premise of what we have set up now, his title is interim director, because we had a full-time director for three or four personnel ago. And currently, he has served in this capacity for about two years, and we'll give it a little more probably. And the title is interim because it is part time. I mean, I wasn't here when, when you set that up, but that's the assumption I'm making because of the titles that were given and the hourly schedule that's been utilized. We need to move on when we're behind our Cindy, did you have some more stuff for us this morning? No, just following up on if you had any questions from last time. Yeah, I did. I had some problems. Basically, we have three layers here. We have the Flint Hills AG, which deals with the state and federal programs. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a county coordinator. Which At this point, we don't. But yeah, but, but right. there is a county coordinator she mm -hmm. talked about, which mm -hmm. seemed to be under local control. Mm -hmm. And then we had mm -hmm. the site manager. But she got over here into her other part of her letter. It appears that the Flint Hills Council on Aging was going to determine whether or not who our council and coordinator was going to be and what they could do. No, I don't. Where I are you reading that. that part? Well, number four under conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. I believe the, the oh, senior center manager is an employee of Flint Hills. Is that correct? Yes. Correct. Number four, so conflict imagine. of interest. The area agency on aging will not prevent anyone from applying for any job, but we will ask our center manager to decide which position he or she wishes to, f to fill should, if offered. <laughs> Sorry. Dramatically not correct. Yes, the coordinator job. But my point is, if they are both part-time positions, how can you deny a person working, uh, working a part-time job under the hours, if they're not... If the hours are not the same, is my point. Well, if right. one is a morning job and one is yeah. an afternoon yeah. job, well, how can that be a conflict of interest? You don't need to scream at me. I think right you, need to, you need to read farther <laughs> and you'll see what the conflicts of interest right. are. I, but I don't, I don't, it, I think it was it's brought up at the myself. council meeting at first before this information came that if she did keep the job, she would have to do it in the afternoon. Right. So that, that would be that. But then there became the conflict of interest because she is hired by the Council on Aging in Manhattan. Let's just say Manhattan for that. So that's where the conflict The true conflict of interest just sharing the information has so to be monetary. To you, any, right. any person has an emotional conflict of interest at any given time, but sure. the true conflict of interest has to be monetary. And I think what this letter is trying to portray is that if the Council on Aging is going to continue to subsidize the positions that are provided at minimum wage by Area Agency on Aging, then in essence, if the same person has both of those jobs, they're they're sub subsidizing their own job from one job to the other. And I do understand that conflict. Mm -hmm. um, and the senior center, Lincoln Senior Center, already subsidizes that position. However, if the council on aging to what the Manhattan pays. If the council on aging is not going to continue to be the distributor of funds, and the council dis or, and our commission distributes funds directly to the senior centers, then that eliminates that conflict of interest. That would be my if we, opinion. So, I don't know. Well, I mean, it, ha it definitely would be because if, yes. if we choose to allocate money directly to the senior center for whatever their budget proposes, mm -hmm. if the commission releases that money, it's theirs at that point. And then the Council on Aging no longer serves as a distribution center. So whoever works for the Council on Aging is not effectively 
deciding where any money goes. But the coordinator that, that does not make the decision on how that money is spent. That is the Council on Aging. They're the ones that make the final decision on where that money is going to go. It should be. So, so I, I question whether there should be a conflict of interest on monetarily because it is not the senior center that is, to me, they're, they're separate. The coordinator, the Council on Aging is paying the coordinator, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they are determining where that money goes, not the coordinator. That's how it would ideally be. Well, yeah, so so I guess I don't see, I, I'm very not sure that number four, there is a conflict. The other problem I have with this is that it appears that the coordinator, uh, one of the conflicts was the coordinator be asked to compile budget requests. We have departments that develop budget requests. It's not a conflict of interest because they're running that department because we are the ones that are eventually going to make that final decision on what that budget is. You know, but it, what it's saying is part of the budget request that that person is doing is facilitating a wage that they will be also receiving. So is, so, is the, so is the highway department. When he comes in, his wages are in that budget. But it's not two separate entities. We're talking about two separate entities. Right. Yes, you are. We're talking yeah, about Yeah, you just established that they're very much separate because one is county run and one is state state and federally affiliated. They're very much two separate entities. In fact... But I don't know how you're going to operate two separate entities because I can assure you... Are you talking about the meals program? There are going to be multiple people right. coming in there when she's on... Yeah. When what I'm the, saying when is... When the person's on the clock as the site manager asking questions related to the county or the mm -hmm. air agency on aging stuff. And even giving Did you see uh, advice as a chick employee when she has not been trained it's not by chick. It's not Cindy. It, it is to, to you. Uh, but you, I, you gave it as you. a public This letter, letter was to me. Right. And and I gave Cindy one out, out of courtesy. You gave everybody. Uh, we're supposed to have, have an open meeting. Did it cross she, the table at the meeting? Yes. Pardon me? Did it cross the table at the meeting? Everyone if it did, it's a matter of public record. Everyone can see it. I gave her one. But you gave this is directed to me. What we've discussed, did you Manhattan? Did, and did you discuss it at your meeting? Mm -hmm. It's a matter of public meeting, record. It doesn't it matter. Public record. I don't care. But she took it upon herself to bring this to the commissioners' meeting when we, as our committee, is still discussing it. Well, it's a matter it, of public it, it, record. It, it could be a public record. I'm it saying it could have flown in on a me. bird. It doesn't matter. It's a public record. Once it goes to the table, your meeting. Me, it, and, and I shared it with Cindy and, and our board members, but we're supposed to have an open discussion with all Lincoln County, not just our board or, or Silver Senior, Senior Center, it's for an open meeting for the whole county to decide what we want for a coordinator. And she took it upon herself to bring this to you and, and, and discuss it when we haven't even finished discussing it ourselves. It had been, it had been brought up three record. months ago. It doesn't ago. matter. It right. doesn't matter. It's work in product. Yeah. If it's, it's a work in product, it's not an open record. It, it is an open product still. But she took the it upon herself the to bring it to you. Is and that's over, wrong. Over three months ago, it was brought up about whether there would be an area coordinator or not. It and there was discussion at that time, which is on the video. She told you last video. meeting that she's the one that got it. It's written to no, me. I, I got it at the her. meeting. Just in defense of the commission, I just want to say a few things. We, we did, like, we just got a letter today. We're actually appointing board members for the direct the board of directors for this group. So there is there's an interest in our board understanding the communication that comes from them. And I understand what you're saying. You're saying I got this letter. We haven't figured anything out about it yet. So exactly. now here we are deliberating over you're what it means. It. I don't consider this letter being a work in progress. Maybe your discussion of this letter is a work in progress. Mm -hmm. Well, why you letter, talk about it then, Terry? This letter, I can't understand. How can this letter be a work in progress when it was sent out? It's signed. The question I don't of see how the letter can be a work also, in progress. We also yeah. establish approval for budgets for these particular entities. So it is interesting to see this kind of correspondence because in the past, I can tell you personally, I've had conversations with Karen Mays where not one word of this was mentioned mm -hmm. in her opinion or outlook on what the situation is or how things are set up because Lincoln County does it very differently than some other counties. Right in Mitchell County there's just a volunteer coordinator who 
compiles information and just points people in the direction of different agencies. You know what We're I mean? We're the only county that has a coordinator. That's full-time paid position. That's right. I agree. So, yes, I know that. On this, we're supposed to have an open meeting with Lincoln County to, to, to decide what we want a coordinator to be responsible to and, and of. We haven't done that yet. We're still in the process of that. Don't you well, think maybe the, the advertise though? Don't so, you think the first part of the oh there's an ad, there's an advertisement for that's right for a yes. coordinator, but the yes, board but so our you board had has not decided yet on on what we want you have the coordinator to do. I mean, even though we have a. a position description, we can have a position description, but now we need to have the county come in and say, hey, we want to have this included in, in, in your position description. So it's not, it's not completed yet. I understand your concern. I will say though, we're missing a big chunk of this, and it was several months ago, two months ago, I had asked that our own internal counsel, which is our own county attorney, give us some advice on what we need to be doing with the mill levy at all because we don't even have the physical charter resolution for the first half up to mill up the to first, one mill the I first think because then approved. each additional one was half and then another half to right. two so that first mill I don't even know that we're legally collecting it I mean there are some things that the commission needs to figure out as far as funding something like this so even before your board knows that they have enough budget to have a full time employee we don't know if we've legally been collecting that first out of the two mills. Well, Alexis, it's been it's been seventy thousand dollars for the last many years, mm -hmm. but now it's going to be different because our budget's going to be different because it's only part time instead of full time, and there's no benefits, so our budget's going to be different than what it has been in the previous mm -hmm. past. But that's something we still need to discuss, <clears throat> and you're bringing it to yourself, and and. It's not done yet. We shouldn't even be discussing this. A county coordinator doesn't need to be hired at this point in time if they haven't done that. But they had gone ahead and advertised it without the uh, things on the first underneath hiring a county coordinator. And I think that was the concern. That Do you Matt have had a written had. resignation from the previous position? From the uh, a certified letter has been sent. It has not been been sent back. But according a certified letter has been sent from the council on aging to the previous employee it's been sent saying please give us a, a resignation in writing. It's been sent. Did Janet, well, that's a, that's a reasonable question. effort. That's a re considered a reasonable effort mm -hmm. on your part. And, and it's been now We don't know months. if Jan Jerry. was supposed to send it the president of the county meeting. Truth is, we cannot say yes she did it because we have not seen it. We haven't seen a receipt for it or but anything. Technicality if you look at the situation she gave Jan a verbal, the president, a verbal resignation. In any job, if you don't come to the job and do it, you automatically get fired or lose your job. But Period. anyway, you know. Jan's going to, I'm going to write it, I'm going to have the board write up a letter, uh, since we haven't received that from, from Teresa, and have Jan sign it that she received a verbal. That way we can continue and, and go forward with our position, because according to Manhattan, we, we can't just, just hire somebody without some well, you kind of a... You can't force somebody to give you a letter, but if you send a registered letter, they received it, and they didn't respond, then I think that's a reasonable effort. So. Okay. So we will get But you need to have a receipt for the certified yeah. Yeah. Well, We've got portion that. of it. We've got that. We'll and another question that comes up is if you're getting rid of one area coordinator for certain reasons, then those are reasons you shouldn't be hiring another one for the same thing. So if a person is doing volunteer work, which is the SHIP program, and that was counted as part of their 40 hours, that should have been eliminated, because that is a volunteer program. And they've had SHIP trainers over at Sylvan. It was very well attended. I think they scheduled another one. Mm -hmm. They've had one in Lincoln now. And that's making the, what you're getting, your advocacy, that's making this department in Manhattan do their job, which is to provide SHIP. Mm -hmm. Well, we need to move on. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of discussion in the next few weeks or mm -hmm. month and a half, anyhow, as to there was how we're like for the last three, three months, lots problems. of people calling Manhattan wanting it, and I think this letter was a result of her wanting to set the stage straight. Any other? Was there any questions about the meal program, which was the other have, thing that people were questioning? I didn't have any. 
I thought it was pretty important to you. Did you have anything on it? The meal program? Um, the friendship meals. I guess it's just we finally established that that is a separate yet subsidized by Lincoln County program where we employ the cooks, mm -hmm. the head cook, mm -hmm. an additional one or two. Mm -hmm. How many? One. One. And the, well, we, I shouldn't say we employ, where they are employed there, the cook. From Manhattan. The, right, and the, and the um, site and the, the thing that right. they got called on it was that they hadn't advertised in advance that the site manager should not be picking somebody. It needs to be an advertised position. So, like, if, if there's that position an opening, is resigned, or if there's, an, if, if there's an opening for a cook, that position should be um, advertised. advertised. Mm -hmm. And also, the Council on Aging in Manhattan uh, would like to see more seniors be looked at as employed from that. That's part of their whole mission. Now, any other questions <laughs> that I can take back to Karen and ask? I don't believe I have any. Not at this time. I think we need to hear back from the council and see where they are in that process. Right, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Rita Faye Kelly. This is very simple, but I'll just hand these out so that you can all see what we're asking here. We, um, this is my husband, Ken. And I'm Rita Faye. We live at Ada, actually. We're not in Lincoln County. We do pay taxes in Lincoln County. But anyway, this is a Christmas present we'd like to do for our daughter and her husband. They have a, a situation where their house is just a little ways from their barn, but the road is dirt right through there. And we'd like, as a Christmas present to them, at no expense to the county, to put some rock on that road. You can see the last page. When it gets muddy, they have to go clear around with their chore and outfit and get on that busy Highway 18. And as mom and grandma, I just love to have them be able to just go across there. And we thought it should be no problem, but we thought we wanted to check with you guys just to, to make sure it's all right. We would um, buy the rock. We'd pay for the hauling and everything just so that it could have, could have rock on it. Do you have any idea where you're getting it from? We would be getting it from Lincoln. Like yeah. That one in Shreds? I think. Is that how you looked at it? Uh, normally, we would want to spread it, correct? Yes. We would want to do the spreading, spreading of it. So we we'll to coordinate it with the highway department so they can. I called the highway department. Somebody's supposed to call me back, and they never returned my call. So I thought, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they. Um, well, I, I don't know. The guy that normally takes care of stuff is... Was on leave. Yeah, she explained that to me, that there was be, a fill-in or something. We will we will contact. I'll get a hold of them, and I'll make sure they call you. If your number's on here. Yep, your number's on there. Yep. We would, we would really like to do it before Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, Could I, you already get an estimate of, of the amount? Not price, just the quantity, so that we would have an idea? Of. Not really. Okay. We're kind of leaving that up to the truck driver to... Fill it in as we, we, We've it's used this truck driver before, and he's real good yeah. about hauling it and kind of spreading it he as he hauls it. it. Yeah. Okay. So I think he would be able to pretty much spread it. Yeah, but I think just so we know what it is, so we can have a blade there to make sure. So it if we can kind of get it scheduled and then let your department know be nice when it's while being it's still delivered. Soft, yeah. yeah. It would be nice while it's still soft. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of yeah. ideal right <laughs> now, I think. We will, we, I will get a hold of him today. Okay. And have him contact you. Okay. And I don't think you don't have a problem with it. Either. No, I, that's fine. Mr. Wall? No, I, I don't have a. I, I guess the only thing is, that, will it be our obligation to make, to redo it when the rock's gone, or you know that? We're not going to obligate the county in any that, way. That would be the other thing, the upkeep of the road. You know, um, I guess the other problem is, is that where that low water part of that crossing, where that drainage is? Is that going to be a cross? I think they put a cup. They fixed they put a cup. Oh. They did quite a bit of work there. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right. They Which I think that. was done okay. well. Yeah, yes. okay. okay. All right. I knew that was a problem at one time. I wasn't sure that they got that completely correct. Yeah. Okay. And so there is gravel on either side of that. Right. It's not in between. Right. right. It's kind of a different situation, and I don't know how it came to be that way, but we're just hoping bygones can it be was bygones. It because of the drainage issue. Because of that problem. Because they just yeah. kept washing the kept washing rock, off, off, rock off, so they just... So, so that's kind of solved now, and so this so, should... So, yeah, we hope. We don't know. But. 
I well, would say at one time there were probably two different landowners there. Okay. And yeah. So so there was no need no need to go. Yeah. So yeah. That would be my guess. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. There's some reason for the whole thing, but anyway, well, we would just like to thank you a whole bunch, and we'll get right on it as far as uh, okay. getting the truck driver, and and we'll coordinate with your people so yeah. that they'll know when. When yeah, it's all wait, taking place. I'll get a hold in today, and you know I wouldn't do anything until he calls you. But I think he'll call you. Okay. Right away, so. Okay. All right. Is this a cell That's number nice on here, or is that your home number? It, it's a it's a cell number. Okay. Yep. I just just make sure it wasn't a special time he needed to call. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have a letter here. From the Lincoln Junior Junior High School about uh, an internship. Didn't we do that once before, Don? Um, we did with the with uh, someone to help with the cleaning and stuff, a vocational type deal. Well, we did with special ed. A student that was considered special ed. They're wanting us to actually do like any student office type work, or I'm assuming. I'm just going to be honest with you, we didn't have enough in one office, so like they rotated and some of the other departments wasn't necessarily very good at about Keeping them occupied. And I just don't have the time or the energy to, to find somebody something to do every single day. It's just easier for me to do it myself. But um, that doesn't mean some of the other departments might not be interested. And it doesn't necessarily have to be secretarial work. It may be also labor. Yes. Um, the only thing is, is you know, we're restricted that some of the stuff that employees Under do 18. have to be eighteen. Yeah. So I just, I don't, I don't know. So if we could find another department to be in charge of it, you wouldn't object to it as long as you didn't have to be in charge of scheduling them here <laughs> and scheduling them there. Okay. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. I guess I, I just I have taken on so much over the years. Yeah. I just need to stop yeah. saying. No, that. I don't have a problem with that. I understand that completely. I just think the letter needs shared with the other departments, with the yeah. departments, and if they're interested, you they just come want back to see us. I uh, I have some real questions about some of the uh, confidentiality of the stuff that goes on in the courthouse and in departments. I think. I'm not saying that young kids, I don't know that they uh, realize the grav gravity or whatever. But any of the records they're dealing with in those departments are open records, aren't they? Mostly, unless they were shredding items and then they wouldn't necessarily do I wonder if Kelly could use them. That's a potential. Um, I just, when we had the first one with disabilities, you know, they, that was cleaning. Mm -hmm. um, some shredding and things like that, you know. I just Did don't think that some... they would learn very much if we just had them do nothing but shredding. So yeah. I, I think in order to make it an educational experience and, yeah. and true. Now, when I first started here, Doris used to have a student come up an hour a day, and she filed all of the, um, at the time, every time there was a, a law that was introduced, you know, you would get those weekly updates, and she would be responsible, but we don't get things like that anymore. Um, we have them enter a fishing game into the system, but we just don't have, everything's different now than what it was. That doesn't mean there isn't some departments that, that would be willing, and, and I just don't know. I just don't know. What about the county attorney? Is she moving? They can haul stuff for her. I mean, some of that, I guess, is privileged information, but if you're just hauling boxes, I mean, they can, maybe she would be interested. That's like a one-time, mm -hmm. I think they're wanting this to be a calendar year. Oh, for the whole year? Yes, yeah. I, and this is a daily deal. Oh. And I, I like guess I, I, I'm with you, Don. I, if you're going to do it, it takes a lot of planning, and it takes a lot of responsibility. I've had kids come in the classroom when I've taught, and that's just another job, I'm sorry, for me. Another person. Yeah, you know, and, and you and you do have to plan for them. I mean, that's all there is to it. you got to plan what they're going to do, and they have to have guidance. So. Well, we could 
share the information. We can share the, I'm, I'm someone, totally interested. Someone's interested yeah. in doing it. Like. But I think we need to be specific on what they're going to do, too. Yeah. Well, I will send out to all of the people, and if it would be okay with you, maybe I would just have, maybe I could ask Dee to do that and have her send it sure. out and then kind of organize what everybody would yeah, think, I think they could have to offer. If, I think it would be her That would be acceptable. And it looks like it's for the next school year that they're trying to yeah. plan ahead on. Yeah, it says 19 20. Yeah, I think turn it over to her and let her approach people and see if they're interested. And I don't think we want to force it on them. But. I know they have some different aspects. Some of it's just an hour. I know there are a lot of, if you have an IEP, you can get a, a job job where they send you into a facility. I know APAC has done that in the past. Um, Pizza Hut has done that at the grocery store. But I just don't know if we have enough for even you know, like a four hour it appears on that letter too that we're responsible to pay. Yeah, it says with a pay pay stub. And I just do you have to, you'd have to do minimum wage then. You have no you have no well, option. Yeah, I mean I mean you know, you know I, I guess I, I I have some real problems with it yeah. myself. But if one of the departments feels that they can present me a good plan, I'm willing to listen. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'd agree with that. But it, it is it is going to, it is going to cost. It's not volunteer. Are you opening the door for other So would not you really like to, would you like to grease the motor grater every morning? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> no problem. For an extra paycheck, sure. You can come in at six thirty. A nice morning. <laughs> Only if it's below fifteen degrees. Are you ready for me? Yes, ma'am, we sure are. Okay. I have um, And um, he had something that came up last minute. And Tanner was originally supposed to be here today. They can't find another Monday where T Tanner can come this week, so he's actually going to come on Wednesday. So Michael asked if you guys had anything on the list. He knew that he had 120th on the list. But if you had anything else that you wanted Tanner to address specifically this month, um, to let him know. Or you can let me know, and I can let him know. But he's going to be there on Thursday. Well, He's going to take a look at that one twenty road situation. That's probably going to fill up most of his hours. I, I was say. also wondering where were we on the Wacker project? I know the north and south road is what they already did, but we had some plans for that. The east and west road is done completely. Didn't they? I don't know whether they're yeah. all done. I they, they put in two culverts out there. I don't know how many. There several months ago. I was where thinking that was, was, I, don't I haven't anything. driven up there, and I can and will, but I just, it I'm dawned pretty, on me that I had never I think they talked did to them about the final. Two or three months ago. Well, okay. I'll, mar or I'll, I would have thought we'd have heard something about it with all this rain, because it was, that's where it well, was Well, he was washing. talking about having a crane up there and stuff, so I'm sure that they. Yeah, and then they had gotten that other, I kind of remember that, I just don't remember when that was, so. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure we, I'm sure it's done. And you can think on it and send me an email or send, send him an email, but that's what they're going to do, and then they'll, um, uh, otherwise it was doing two Mondays in January, so we, they just thought they would go ahead and at least get started on that. There, and this isn't for Tanner necessarily, but I believe it's Quartz, straight south 14, and then back to the west. Jaguar. It was to the south. I think I have the note in my hand. I'll have to. I'll see, I'll see if I have it after okay. after the meeting, and I'll bring it to you that you can just. Okay. And I'll I'll see you can send him an email. Um, and then at eleven, Dick Hay has blocked off. If Jennifer could get down here, she was going to, but she didn't know how motion day was going to go upstairs, and apparently she has to stack this thick that she didn't think she was going to get away. Her. Um, so when we do that, I'm just supposed to remind you that you're supposed to go into executive session. I would almost assume we'd get him on the phone 
and then yeah. go in once he's on the phone. Sure. Um, in that same standpoint, um, I really don't know how to address this one besides it's also with Mr. Hay, but... Um, Is it correspondence? No, it's on the ambulance service uh, billing, oh. the medic appealing with Medicare. Um, they only electronically accept, or they only accept electronic files, et cetera, et cetera, when you're appealing with Medicare. So we lost the first initial appeal, and then we could retain an attorney, and everything has to be filed electronically, and Jennifer doesn't have the means to do that. And I guess they spent, like, I don't know, two full days trying to figure it out, and they couldn't. She asked Mr. Hay if they had experience and if they were already set up to go, and he is. So I have an agreement for to that. To contract him to do that. Yes, and then he... Is it based on a percentage of what we retain? What's his fee? That I don't know because I haven't looked at it. And I thought maybe if while you guys were on the phone with him, you could talk sure. about that. Yeah. Yeah. And then he did go ahead and file the first part of the appeal, whatever process the deadline was at the time. So he's done a portion of it, but she felt like... You well, probably should have him on retainer yeah. to do that. Yeah. So that is those papers. And then um, the I have seven minutes. So the other thing that I had was, um, so the townships are kind of a mess. When people get elected, they don't know. People will write people in. We have seven, I believe, active townships. Golden Belt Township is one of them. Uh, apparently... Uh, Gordon Kruger was elected the township clerk. He's already currently the township trustee. And so he's resigning his position, and he would like you guys to appoint Kurt Doe back to the position. Kurt, apparently, they, you guys appointed him a couple of years ago. I don't, I, I can't remember, but I remember he was involved in it. They wanted to try to find somebody younger. He's expressed interest. He's gone out and he's helped to mark the grave sites and things like that because everything right now is just in Gordon Kruger's mind. So this and is the position that we appoint? Technically, by statute, yes. If, if, if no one runs or if no one is elected. Yes. And so since they have resigned. I kind of think that maybe they might have just put <coughs> her in. I started to look back through the minutes and got busy on the Friday. The clerk is elected and the trustee is appointed. Is no. no. The They're all elected three elected. Oh. Three the elected. treasurer and the trustee were elected last oh, two years ago. It's a different rotation. Okay. Yes. So if they're not elected, then you can appoint. That's, okay. Yes. I don't know. If there's a vacancy. If there's a vacancy. So he's he's, he's resigned. willing to do it, I have no problem. <laughs> well, and they said that they had gone through a whole list of other people that they had asked, but they were trying to get somebody, too, that was younger that would be probably there for a lifetime. Um, but I don't know how you guys feel about that. I just, he resigned. He put in his recommendation. I told him I would talk to you guys about it. And Was he elected to this position the last time? And that, and so now no, he's... he replaced somebody that was deceased. Okay. I, can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. What, what do they do? <laughs> this particular township has a cemetery that they maintain. So that's so all, really? That's it. Most of the yeah. trustee, a treasurer, and everyone else? Clerk. Uh, clerk. clerk. Okay. And they, that's, I was just wondering. What all townships, I guess, do, but well, I know. they don't when, function. Somebody wrote me in one year for a trustee, and I didn't even know what I was yeah. And I had so many questions the last several years. I just didn't email out to any of the, or I didn't mail the certificate out to any inactive. Most gesture. of them aren't active. Okay, thank you. But the ones in cemeteries are. I just didn't know what they're doing. So yeah, and some ha also have township halls. Okay. Yeah. But other than that. Not like down in Ellsworth County, right? They actually townships run the graders yeah. and stuff, so they actually have more of a job. Yeah. They're on township system. They have their own budget. Budget, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, so do these townships. They have their own budgets. Well, well yeah, just for the do. cemetery. Very I meant yeah. they have their own operating working capital for them yeah. to run their own road system and whatnot. What is the cemetery? Yeah. I, I think he said Boss Cemetery. Boss. Boss. So. Is it the one there right by his Gordon's house? Yes. So. Well, I have no problem to all move to a point. Uh, second. There's no further discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Are 
are there any other townships that were got problems? No, that's the only one that I know of. I think uh, Battle Creek Township they did have because Gary and Bonnie were both on them when Bonnie passed, um, but they elected somebody. I still think they need one more. Um, you got elected in Highland, do you remember? I don't remember, but they're not active. Okay. They don't have anything. Okay. And I want to say, I think you had mentioned the cemetery. It and is that's a cemetery. Our there. cemetery. Right, it's a part of our list. But my question is, so what do we do? Because... I mean, if they're only getting mowed two to three times a year, depending on weather or whatever, um, and once they're kind of run down, and I think the problem is there's been a lot of cattle go through that particular one. I forget, is that called the Highland Township Cemetery? I don't know what it's I'm called. Not sure. So, I mean, you I guys. Think I, I think we looked at that one thing. Highland Township didn't have a cemetery or something. Um. something else. If it's on the abandoned cemetery list, I mean, you guys have the choice of, of taking care of it more than often than what you do. You just have to budget the money to spend it for it. Um, a lot of times people will ask if they had some stones down one cemetery, but we don't, we don't pick the stones back up. We don't replace unless somebody comes and talks to you guys and you guys approve that. Well, there's what an intern should be doing. I mean, I guess if Jennifer's not here, we'll just... I think that light must have only died, didn't it? Yeah. It's been signaling it was leaving. Oh, and one other... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know it's going to knock me out one of these days. I'm just going to fall. Um, that pop machine is about ready to die. Sharon gave me a guy's name that come from um, the Ellsworth area. But he needs more people or more businesses to put to be able to come to make it worth his while and so we kind of reached out to um, U.S. Towers the hospital none of them were really interested uh, the hospital and U.S. Towers are both serviced through um, Mahaska which is that company that uh, Jim Ferris works for so I don't know. Is it okay if we reach out to them? I think the thing is running all the time, and it's just yeah. I think I know. Um, yeah. Or you want to, we'll uh, we'll you know, contact we'll, them again and make sure and just tell them we couldn't find any. But I don't, the the question was was the high or the highway department or the ambulance shed? But I just don't know if there's enough volume to. I think the ambulance shed bought their own machine a few years ago, but I don't know if anybody stocks it. Yeah. No, they stock it themselves. Do they stock the it? last I knew, they were stocking it themselves. Yeah. Well, we bought ours for a buck. Yeah. The machine? Yeah. Wow. Pe well, Pepsi wouldn't take care of yeah. it anymore, and we didn't want them to take it out. Oh, they, <laughs> so. they weren't selling enough, but nobody mm -hmm. wanted to service it. Mm -hmm. So just something to think about. I'm, I'm probably going to have to figure out something, because I'm not it. sure it's shut off yet this morning. No. I don't have a problem. I can reach out and see what... Yes, they need Yeah, court. It's kind of surprising how much. And it's not really employees, it's more guests than employees. The water goes through with the employees. My experience with it isn't all that good. It's sort of a slot machine. Yeah. With no it's handle. Money. Yeah. <laughs> You don't, you don't win the jackpot. You never know what you're going to get, right? <laughs> well, and the sign now for the dollar bill changer says, you know, and the one day I couldn't get it to do anything, so I just went like, love tapped it. And it's sort of a contribution to it, yeah. Well, you can come up and we'll unlock it for you and reset it. No. Not do you guys stock it or does someone come and stock it? We stock it. I mean, is there another local business that has a machine that would just double duty their... You know, I mean, if they have a second location, in other words. The problem is they doesn't sell enough that they don't want to come up here every week and restock it. it. And, and that's that's what we ran into before, yeah. You know. So who, do you do that? Does your office mm -hmm. do that? That's why there's a lot of lights on it right now. Because <laughs> we just haven't had time. And the, the sad thing is, is you go 
and you buy pop, but then the, there will be a phase where you won't sell any, and then it's I, yeah. outdated, and then you put it back in. And Can't the custodian do that? We need to call it, right? Yep, are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Yes, may I speak to Charles Hay, please? Okay, well, he's on our agenda to speak to him at 11. Okay, thanks. Hi, Mr. Hay, this is Don Harlow at the Lincoln County Clerk's Office, and I'm going to put you on speakerphone. Okay, can everybody hear? We haven't gone into executive session yet. We were waiting to get you on the line first, Mr. Hay. But I would move that we recess into executive session for how many minutes do you think we need? Are you talking to me? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, wouldn't a half an hour do it, you think? I think so. 30 minutes. Uh, yeah. Trade discuss data relating to financial affairs, trade secrets, corporations, partnerships, trusts, and individual partnerships. Randy, Randy, would like, I'd like for you to say, please. Okay. Be with the commissioners, Clerk Harlow and Commissioner Elect Randy Loman and Mr. Hay. I second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. We have an agreement here to enter in with uh, the Folston firm to do an appeal with Medicare on an ambulance service issue. I would move the chairman sign the agreement. Second. Is there no further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 I see Marilyn's here. I think we, if you're coming about what we uh, talked about last week, we've already approved it. So. Well, thank you very much. I'll just give you the official uh, schedule of the day. So okay. it might change just a little bit. Heather and Storm, I've had enough storms this fall. Uh, <laughs> there are more storms. Actually, I showed up today just to see if Alexis had delivered yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're all waiting on her. <laughs> Ran off. Thank you. You'll, you'll be awesome. Well, thank you very much, and uh, sorry I stood you up last week. And, uh, no problem. We got your note, so we just. Yep, we're not the first woman that's done that to me. We we, <laughs> we assumed what you were coming for, so. No, I tell you, if I ever pull a different one, I'll have to speak early. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I do have one thing I'd like to discuss before we get out of here. Uh, I've been serving on the Central Kansas Mental Health Board, and I will be going off there. I guess I will be no longer be a commissioner, don't have to be a commissioner, but I would still like to get off of the board. Uh, we spoke with Gaylene Zier, and she is very interested on serving on the board. She's a, I'm not sure exactly what her title is, dietitian or a, something like that. And, they, uh, in talking to the people down there at Central Kansas Mental Health, they think it would be great to have a nutritionist on the board because nutrition and mental health kind of go hand in hand. And they think the nutritionist part of her uh, education would serve them very well. I never really equated that, but I guess it's absolutely true. Most people who have mental health issues don't get nutrition like they shouldn't get nutrition. So, uh, I think she would be a, a, a good addition to the board myself. I have no problems with appointing her. I've known her for years. She has a former student, very good. 
they're a responsible person. I will move to appoint Gaylene Zier to the Central Kansas Mental Health Board, represent Lincoln County. I second. Um, is that monthly or quarterly? Monthly. monthly. <clears throat> Is there no further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Does anyone have anything else today? We need to we need to make a motion about what we're asking the attorneys to do for us. Okay. That's kind of what I That'd gathered from the conversation with him. So, um, I, I'll try to word it. I know it's kind of lengthy here, but um, I move the commission approve our hired counsel to request an equipment list from Lincoln Park Manor for appraisal as well as the census report for all of 2018 to determine the debt in rent owed to the county. Get it? I think that's all I need in that one. <clears throat> I was second. Is there any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 And then, do you think that we should address um, what we're going to ask the attorneys to do as far as put, putting together? I, I think, I think we gave them instructions to what we wanted, and I think that's yeah, I think that sufficient, and that was an executive session. Yeah. Uh, okay. It wasn't a decision, but it was in a conversation, and so I think they're we're covered. I don't know okay. That needs to be. Well, then I think that at least documents what yeah, what I, we need I, to know, know and what we've instructed the yeah. the attorneys to do for us at this point in our. To me, that was part of our uh, attorney-client relationship. What did you need? Yeah, it's still a work in progress. Yes, so yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Because okay. we're going to receive, if we get anything in writing, we're going to receive we'll stuff. Okay. We're going to receive stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, the abatement, I don't think you guys did. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. We did. We got yes. It. it was for a sea do. Sea do boat. I I moved on. I didn't think we had. I don't remember who moved I'm, the second. I time. think I moved. Yeah, I think Al Joe moved. Well, good lord, where was I at? Sleeping? <laughs> no. <I'm kidding>. Yeah. <laughs> Al Joe moved and Alexa seconded. Okay. I've got it right down here. Okay, thank well, you. Well, okay. I was definitely not here, apparently. I was here, but. Well, if there's no further business, I guess we will adjourn until the 17th at 10 o'clock. Are we going to meet the 24th? Yes, we did decide. We are going to meet? Yes. Because, oh, but then we also have the end of the month that. 31st. Oh, yes, the following Monday. Are we? Yeah. So it's Monday and then the Monday. Court. Okay. I knew we were giving them a half day off, but I didn't know whether we what were going to have What we can do, instead of doing a, an, yeah. additional, an additional end of the month, we just have Monday and Monday left. It's on a, it's on a Monday. So well, we I know, I know, but I just wondered if we were going to skip the 24th meeting since it was Christmas Eve. But it doesn't matter to me. I Lots just wanted to know <laughs> what, whether to we can see come. We can see where we're at next week and make that decision if there's nothing to come in for. But I assume that there may very well be something. But we'll have to be done by noon. Yeah. I had Algin moved and Alexis seconded. Did you have anything else to add? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Now you're now you're really gonna get that's the one you're talking about getting Gaylene on for. Yeah. Right? Well, that'd be fine. I could still probably go one time just to see. Sure, that I think you should. When it, you should you should honestly go tour the place someday. It's amazing. You know you can't imagine. Well, we'll see. I, yeah, well, if Gay Lane's going to represent Lincoln, they probably would need to. Well, you, I, you know, I had asked him, he didn't seem oh. interested in it. So. No, that's fine. I don't, that's fine. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so she would better, but I might go just to find out what's going yeah, on. When is that? What day? The 17th. 17th? Next Monday, and they're going to, it's going to be kind of a, is it not going to be more you have to be in the afternoon? Or? Uh, 3 o'clock. Well, are you going to go down to it? Or? Yeah. I'll go down and kind of introduce Gaylene and stuff. Okay. See, I think see if she Should I? I'll, I'll, I could go down too. Sure, then. absolutely. There's an okay. open meeting. Yeah. Where, go. where is this at? Uh, Central Kansas Mental Health. Because you know where it's at? No. Downtown there? It's on Elmhurst. You know where the YMCA is? I could find it on You know where the YMCA is? Yeah. Okay, it's just east of the YMCA. Oh, over there by the, by the park, huh? By the soccer field. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. just east, yeah. Kenwood Park, you know, east yeah. of there. South the first there. building you can to. Well, you can, it's Kansas Mental Health. Central Kansas Mental Health. Central Kansas Mental Health. Oh, well, I'll just Google it too. Yeah. Okay, so it's three, and I'll see you next Monday here. Yeah, I'll keep you. You need to remind me, and I'll just go down there. Okay, I'd like to see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, like oh, I yeah, Gay Lee would be good. I mean, she's. Like I say, I think you should schedule a tour. I'm not, and just find out what's how it will. Because. Because now the Lincoln County helps yeah. support that funding wise and stuff. So yeah, and they like, provide mental health services. For, for, for here, and we contribute to that other budget yeah. issue. Huh? Ottawa, Lincoln. Uh, Alexis, Dickinson. have you been to that too? I have not. I have not been there. Ottawa, Lincoln, yeah. Dickinson. Okay. Well, I may, yeah, remind me next Monday, I'll plan on, yeah, I'd just like to see what's, have, what's going on. There. Yeah. She called me and said, yeah, you were a normal uh, member, and uh, that he was saying I was coming in, and, and then if I'd like to go, I said, well, maybe so. I mean, you know. Next week or next week, they're going to have a little different meeting. Uh, they normally don't have a meeting in December because of the holidays. Okay. But they're having a meeting where all the different department heads come in and give reports for the year. So it's really kind of like the end of the year thing. Yeah. Okay. It's well, really maybe I'll go into it. Yeah, because I don't know anything about it. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks. And I'm sure if you talk to Kathy Moses, sometimes she would be more than happy. Well, she could want to call me.